Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Carrie Stober, the manager for the Plein Air Salon Art Competition, and we are here tonight to announce the winners for the January Plein Air Salon. Before we get started, I'd like to let those who are new to the Plein Air Salon know who we are. We're an online monthly and annual online art competition that was created by Eric Rhodes, the publisher of Plein Air Magazine, and we are about to close our 12th year. The winners of each of our monthly and in, sorry, the winners of each of our monthly competitions get entered into the annual competition we hold in May, where the grand prize winner will receive fifteen thousand dollars and their painting featured on the cover of Planner Magazine. In total, we award over thirty-three thousand dollars each year through our monthly and annual competitions. Since this competition was created by Planner Magazine, we do have Planner in our name. However, we are not strictly a Planner painting competition. A lot of the painters that we feature in Planner Magazine actually paint in various styles, mediums, and subjects, and so our competition is also open to various styles, mediums, and subjects. We have 11 monthly cycles with 22 winners each month, and we award $1,100 each to the first, second, third place, and People's Choice Awards. Then each of our 19 category winners receives a gift card to PaintTube.tv for an instructional art video, and then all of our winners, as well as our honorable mentions, are receive promotion, sorry, receive promotion in our magazines, our newsletters, and our social platforms. As I said before, the 22 monthly winners are automatically included in the annual competition that we hold in the spring, where we award over $22,000. We announce the awards live on stage at the Plenary Convention, and the grand prize winner receives a check for $15,000 and their painting featured on the cover of Planner Magazine. This is Jennifer McChristian. She's our most recent winner from last year. And she and the previous two winners all received their checks virtually because of COVID. And then uh, Jennifer was headed to Italy the next day and couldn't join us. So I'm really excited to be able to finally give away a check on stage to someone in person. Our judge for the January competition was nationally acclaimed impressionist artist C.W. Mundy. He is an incredible artist who holds signature status with numerous organizations. And when he's not painting, CW enjoys playing banjo with his bluegrass band. You can learn more about CW on his website, and you'll also be able to see him live and in person if you're attending the Planner Convention in May. CW is busy in his studio this week, so he's not able to join us, but I did ask him to share some thoughts about the paintings that he selected for awards this year, or sorry, for this month, and I'll share those with you guys in a little bit. But for now, why don't we get to the awards? First up is our honorable mention recipients. We have 19 honorable mentions each month, and these recipients are included in our monthly galleries on fineartconnoisseur.com and outdoorpainter.com and in the permanent winner's archives on theplannersalon.com. They'll be included in the showcase in the digital edition of the April-May issue of Planner Magazine and be promoted through our social media platforms. They will also receive a press release highlighting their award that they can share with their collectors, their friends, and local media, and so on. So here are the honorable mention awards. First up is Animals and Birds. Animals and Birds honorable mention goes to Lon Brower for Two Boys on the Town. Artist Over 65 honorable mention goes to Cindy Ziegler for Copper and Fruit. Beginner honorable mention goes to Marianne Rice for Ben. Building honorable mention goes to Richard Boyer for Market Street. Clouds and Sky, honorable mention, goes to Jill Basham for The Quiet Hours. Drawing, honorable mention, goes to Rosanna Gadoni for The Universe Around. Figure and Portrait, honorable mention, goes to Luis Ezon for RAF1. Our Floral, honorable mention, goes to Richard Kokanash for Gathered Orange Austins. Our landscape honorable mention goes to Jane Hunt for Autumn Aspens. Our nocturne honorable mention goes to Joseph Gerzak for Tillman Island. Our plein air acrylic honorable mention goes to Janie Snyder for United We Stand, Millbridge, Maine. Our plein air landscape honorable mention goes to Bob Upton for Hayes at Troy Beach. Our Planner Oil Honorable Mention goes to Camille Przewodek for Country Stroll. Our Planner Outdoor Still Life Honorable Mention goes to Deborah Hughes for Suits and Boots. Our Planner Pastel Honorable Mention goes to Jill Stephanie Wagner from Land's End. 
Our plein air, watercolor, and gouache honorable mention goes to Bob Upton for Wilson's Soda Fountain. Our vehicle honorable mention goes to Luis Ezon for Red Biker. Our water honorable mention goes to James Swanson for A Brighter Day. And finally, our Western honorable mention goes to Cynthia Roberts for Coming Round the Bend. Congratulations to all, all of our honorable mention award winners tonight. You'll be able to see their paintings in the April-May digital edition of the Planner Magazine, as well as on the Planner Salon website in the January Winners Gallery. And now for our category award winners. These artists receive a gift card for PaintTube.tv for an instructional art video. They'll be included in a showcase in the April-May issue of Planner Magazine. They'll be included on fineartconnoisseur.com, outdoorpainter.com, and plannersalon.com in the galleries. They'll be eligible for editorial coverage in various e-newsletters, and they'll also receive promotion through our various social media platforms. And our first award is Best Animals and Birds. This goes to Gia Eliza Holderman for Waiting. Best Artist Over 65 goes to Lon Brower for Saturday's Project. Best Beginner goes to Marianne Rice for J. David Rice, Monroe County Circuit Judge, 2010 to 2017. Best Building goes to Wayne Daniels for Winter Evening, Link Lane Street. Best Clouds and Sky goes to Christine E.S. Code for Leaving the Campground. Best Drawing goes to Megan Whitfield for Out of the Dark. Best Figure and Portrait goes to J.M. Broderick for Grace. Best Floral goes to Felicity Starr for My Rose. Best Landscape goes to Valerie Craig for Golden Glow. Best Nocturne goes to Jill Basham for Low Country Lanterns. Best Plenar Acrylic goes to Chung Chuk, Chung Chuk Wing for Impression Sunrise in Venice. Best Planner Landscape goes to Jill Basham for Blue Ridge Afternoon. Best Planner Oil goes to Lamia D for More on the Way. <clears throat> Best Planner Outdoor Still Life goes to Haiti Joe Summers for Little Red Chair. Best Planner Pastel goes to Lisa Skelly for Big Surf at Little Corona. Best plein air watercolor and gouache goes to Richard Sneary for Red Dory. Best vehicle goes to Donnelly Nizio for Rolling Down the River. Best water goes to Kimball Geisler for The River's Breath. And best western goes to Nancy Tankersley for Ready to Rip. Congratulations to all of our category winners. You'll be able to see their artwork in the April-May issue of Planner Magazine, as well as on plannersalon.com in the January Winners Archives. And now we move on to our People's Choice Award. Each month we allow the artists who've entered to show their paintings on social media, and everyone is able to vote on them. And whoever receives the most votes receives the People's Choice Award, $100 cash, and also gets featured in the showcase in the Planner Magazine article. And this month's People's Choice Award goes to Crystal Bashera for Cutting Loose. Congratulations, Crystal. Congratulations, and now we will move on to our third place winner. Our third place award receives $200 and we'll have a showcase in Inside Art e-newsletter. And the award goes to Haiti Joe Summers for Evening Light Pulpero. Haiti Joe, this is what CW had to say about your painting. This wonderful planner painting reminded me of my travel to England to the fishing town of Polpero, which is where I think the scene may have been painted in Cornwall. It has the true spirit of planner painting, and I assume it was done in plein air, and is keeping in touch with my opinion of planner painting for this competition. Congratulations, Haiti Joe. Now we will move on to our second place award. Our second place will receive $300 and will also get a showcase in Inside Art. And the award goes to... Jody Martin for Just Like Dab. CW said, this wonderful painting of a young sailor boy hit my heartstrings. It is wonderfully executed and has the feeling of being painted from life, which is equivalent to true plenary painting. 
The painting has a marvelous personality which is displayed through the entire endeavor. The artist captured a spectacular expression that is familiar to parents. Congratulations, Jody. And now for our first place award. Our first place winner receives $500, a feature on fineartconnoisseur.com and outdoorpainter.com, included in Fine Art Today and Planner Today, as well as a showcase in Inside Art. And the winner is Charles Newman for his painting Corner of Rig Street. CW said, because this competition is the Plein Air Salon, I chose this painting because it appears to have been done on location in Plein Air. This painting has the true spirit and the expression that is needed to win a Plein Air magazine competition. It is wonderfully and artfully executed and has a beautiful, believable palette. There's much to look at in this painting. Congratulations, Charles, and to all of our winners and honorable mentions from January. And a special thank you to CW for taking the time to judge. We had 1,200 entries in January, and it can take a lot of time to go through all of those paintings and narrow everything down to these final awards. I do like to ask our judges, um, CW can't make it today, but I do like to ask our judges what advice they would give artists who are considering entering a competition, and I wanted to share CW's thoughts with you. Um, number one, if you're going to enter any competition, only enter what you really love, and that's something that we tell a lot of our artists and something I see consistently with who enters, there are numerous artists who will enter the same painting over and over and over until it wins. And it, it makes me excited and hopeful for them because I hope they win because I see them at taking the time to enter this and I see how much they believe in their painting and I'm rooting for them. So number two um, is if you have peers whom you trust in their judgments, it is always wise to get counsel from them. I often consult with my wife and with students that I mentor and with other top artists if I feel the necessity. You always want to find somebody who's actually going to be truthful with you about, you know, whether your painting's good or not, whether you should enter. Um, and number three, don't allow yourself to be destroyed mentally if you don't get an award. Even though the judge has objective standards, judging seems to be about 70% subjective. I probably would never judge the same way twice if I judged on different days or in different moods. As judges, we are hugely influenced by what we are experiencing in our lives at the same time that we are judging. If it's important enough for you to be judged or juried into an exhibition, then expect to live with the results. This is great advice and makes me think of our fourth annual grand prize winner, Jim McVicker. He had a painting that he truly believed in and he entered it and entered it and entered it and it kept getting overlooked by judges one after the other. And finally, I can't remember how many times he entered it, but finally it was seen by a judge and it was given an award and it actually went on to end up being our grand prize winner that year. It was a beautiful outdoors, uh, not still life, it was an outdoor self-portrait of himself that he did plenary painting, which, I mean, how do you even do that? It's just crazy. But he took the time to enter it and keep entering it. He believed in it and he he just kept with it. So don't give up. What, judge, what one judge will overlook, another judge will see the value in. So just keep going. Um, I want to thank you guys all for joining me tonight. Our, uh, don't forget to enter the February Plenar Salon. Our judge this month is Ted and, or sorry, Scott Shields. Ted and Mills of our Chief Curator and Associate Director at the Crocker Art Museum in Sacramento, California. Thank you guys and head on over to planersalon.com for more details and I'll see you guys next time.